I heard a rumor that the Cloud Breaker comes in two stabilities, depending on your rim color. Uh, this rumor was made to me by Zach Coleman, uh, one of our employees, because he grabbed a black one and said that they were much more stable than my very stable blue rimmed destroyer or uh, Cloud Breaker. So today I'm gonna take both out, throw them in Ann Morrison, and you get to come along for the ride. I've got me a new drink. How can you get through the day without your 50 cent V8? Let's go, baby. Um, today's gonna be kind of like a vlog round. Because, you know, we do vlog rounds on this channel. Um, but kind of more of a comparable. So, yeah. See you down there. I got two cloud breakers, both the new Horizon plastic. Um, blue rim, black rim. I'm gonna throw this forehand on hole one at Ann Morrison. It says 310 feet. Truck's leaving, you gotta hear that. So, a couple of forehand. Zach's talking about. My energy drinks spilled all over the place. I'm the thought. Okay, we're uh weird wind. Uh we're gonna go big high spike hyzer at that basket there. Hopefully high enough to come back left. This was terrible. Okay, it's in the circle. Try that again. Oh, that's gonna have to spin. Uh, oh, it is. All right, we gotta find that. Okay. So we're gonna find that cloud breaker. But he just tuned them. A yeah, big 220 foot spike hyzer doesn't really show stability. I think the next one will be a better show off. Hold three, 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 oh my gosh, almost so 325 feet. I'm just trying to go backhand low hyzer. There's also this big hyzer, but I don't think that's going to show which one's more stable. So we'll try the low one, see if I can push it. Scratch that. I'm going to match this one to the right side of the tree. <laughs> I don't think that showed me anything. All right. I am need both of those. They're both trash. What are you going to do? Round two. Blue first. I think I think mine's more stable than the black ring. Maybe yours is more stable. Oh, okay. Oh, I cranked over on that. Oh my gosh. Nothing looks stable when you throw it like that. Okay, maybe black is a bit more stable. There's a lot more right to left wind that I felt off the tee, which makes sense with both of those discs. 
couple of birdie boys. All right, for me, I'm just going to go forehand here, out left side with both discs. That might be dry. That got flipped so much harder with this wing. <laughs> okay, this is a really high level shot that I'm probably not going to be able to duplicate twice. But it's a turnover or force over backhand. Hit the ground, skip towards the basket. But it's probably like, how far do you think? Like 420? Oh, more than that, yeah. 450? Yeah, something like that. You know, just a little pitch and putt course. <laughs> Not salty, dude. Oh, that's so bad. I do too. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, dude. Can't replicate. It's a spot though. Okay, so I'm gonna try to go backhand at that truck a little hyzer and skip it on left towards the back. Wait, was this in though? Oh no, there's another basket. Yeah. All right, not the most ideal uh, cloud breaker hole, but what is it, 230 out there? 240? It's farther. 260? Anyway, it's my only ace hole in Boise. We're just trying to go a right, little skipper. Oh no. No! Yes! Oh my gosh! Alright, I got two more. Oh my god. to see how fast that flies after watching the cutter shots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's gone! It doesn't even make sense. Oh. Gone forever. There. Yeah. Oh my god, oh! that's a line. That's the best I've ever thrown that line, by the way. Slow, smooth, methodical. Stable. It's stable. Okay, so after a ton of throws with these, I've had them out on the course probably five, six rounds um, to kind of judge the stability. Is there a difference between a blue orbit or horizon and a black rimmed horizon? Yes, there is. Um, in my estimations and all of my throws and all of the other people that have thrown this disc, which I have people that I play with that have way better arms than me, the black is definitely more stable. Now, is this a flippy disc? No, it's not a flippy disc, but this is definitely more of a, a straight two hyzer, while this is kind of like a, you have to put it on flex to get the same distance. 
Um, still both great discs. I would recommend them to anybody that throws really far. <clears throat> For forehands, it's so good. The skips that I'm getting. I love discs. I love 12 speeds that can get a skip and kind of get a left to right movement. This disc does that great. Um, plastic feels incredible. This is going to be a hot ticket item. Uh, any questions, comments, drop them down in the bottom below. Like, subscribe, and if you didn't like this content, keep it to yourself.